welcome to the Easy Allies Xbox Games Showcase Betting Special. We are your hosts, Michael Huber. And Don Casanova. Don, it is good to be back. Announcements and reveals are on the horizon. What do we got in store today? Michael Huber, I'm suited, I'm booted, I'm sweating like a pig, I'm salivating like a wild dog in heat over here. I think you can relate because we're nearly hours away from some serious next-gen reveals, some gameplay, but more exciting than that, we're only moments away from blowing some wads of Don Bucks, and I know you like the sound of that. I love the sound of that. I'm ready to wage. Kick us off. Let's go through the rules first. Let's pay attention, everyone. We don't want you uh, getting left behind on this. What do our contestants have in their wallets? Yes, so this is interesting. Right off the bat, okay, each player has a unique amount of Don Bucks to spend in their bankroll, okay? These contestants competed, as you know, in the PlayStation Special. So what they're entering this special with is what they walked away with uh, mm-hmm. from PlayStation. And so let's look at this list right here, okay? Let's do uh, it. We got Damiani right at the top, 2,500 Don Bucks. I feel like he can just kind of strut in here, stick his elbows out on the dance floor and start clearing a path with that kind of bread uh, to spend. Anything else out here stand out to you? Jones right behind him, 2,450, just a small, $50 deficit between our two leaders. They're coming in with a lot of cash to spend and it makes me nervous. I don't like it at all, but we'll see how it plays out. Let's get right to the rules, shall we? What do you got for us, Huber? So bets must be in increments of 50 Don Bucks. We don't want any weird shenanigans, two, three, four. This is not the price is right. There will be no $1 bets, a minimum of five wagers must be placed. You cannot put all your bucks in one basket, so to speak. You gotta diversify, you gotta hedge. There is strategy involved. Any other rules, Don? What do we got? Yeah, each player will also be able to select their single long shot as before, okay? This is a bet they come up with on their own. Mm -hmm. However, we tweaked it a little bit for this betting special. The way it goes here is that there is no cost to the player, okay? A free bet. That's right, these players have been with us for a long time. I mean, some of these guys go all the way back to uh, the consumer electronic shows of the late 90s. They've been with us for a while and we want to reward them for that kind of loyalty. So what we decided to do was just say, we'll give you a freebie, long shot across the board, as long as Huber and I qualify it as a long shot, okay? Yes. Then if it comes through for you, you're gonna get a thousand dollar payout uh, for uh, absolutely no investment, so you can't go wrong there. Just a cool thousand Don Bucks. Now, what I'm most excited about is the new trifecta wagers. Tell me about these. Yes, last time we had a little confusion, multi-bed, uh, people didn't know if it was a trifecta parlay. What was happening? It was a parlay, but that's why we're here, Huber. This isn't just entertainment, we're here to educate. And so we thought, what better way to educate Uh, than doing and so we brought in the optional trifecta wager this time completely optional yeah this is how it works now a cost of uh, 300 Don Bucks per trifecta bet okay now we've got a list of trifecta games you can choose from the trifecta bet you will pick three of these games from the list okay if these three games are the first ones to be presented from this list in either a trailer or any sort of presentation uh you will win the combined total of the payouts you see listed uh next to them if any other of these games shows up before your placement you lose if a game is not on this list and shows up doesn't count we just we ignore those games it's just the games on these lists they need to be in that particular order and whatever games on this list that don't show up will simply be scratched from the list as well Mm -hmm. they don't count so this uh, should be noted too 
Uh, if a player so chooses, he could invest in more than one of these uh, optional trifecta wagers if they've got the Don Bucks to spend. Don, should we bring in our first contestant? Let's get right to the action, Huber. First up, okay, this is a safe bet, two to one odds. A Halo Infinite demo or beta will be announced. Where do you stand on this? You want to get in on it? It will be announced that day. Right, is that the thing or just in general? Uh, during the presentation. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that is interesting. So it doesn't a need beta. to be- A uh, beta. Yeah, it doesn't need to be given a specific release date, but it- You know what, I'm gonna release. say yes. What was it, Crackdown? You got the Halo 3 beta or whatever, dude? They'll make you pay. Access <laughs> that beta, baby. They'll make you pay. <laughs> Uh, Don, here's what I want to do for now is just put a cool 200 on most of the bets so far. 200, I love this. Then I'm going to go through these after I see all the numbers laid out and see how I feel. A Halo Infinite demo or beta will be announced. Gotta bet on Halo, man. <laughs> Gotta bet on Halo. Why? How could you not? History of having betas before the game comes out. Everybody gets excited about it. That's why everybody bought Crackdown in the first place. Why not keep the legacy alive with Halo Infinite? It'll be announced. Love it. Historical reference, Don. Ben came prepared. Shooting shots right out of the gate. Yep. Absolutely not the first we are time. Ready. Uh, not the first time we heard Crackdown uttered this evening as well, which is a massive surprise to me, but I love it. Thank you for that, Ben. Two to one odds. Too risky. What do you got? Too risky. Doesn't risky. like it. Skip. Don't okay. Too, too no. early. Skip it. I'm marking down a skip. Too too early for the beta or the demo. Oh. Skip it. Something like that. That seems like kind of independent play. You know what I mean? That seems, I don't know, like an Xbox, especially with that you know gigantic title. I don't know. You know, I'm sure they want people to have a positive opinion about that, but is it ready? I doubt. I will be excited. That will be a bet I'll be happy to lose. I am going in on this one. Uh, I was a little bit more bullish on this earlier, uh, but then I'm like, ooh, they're only showing campaign. They might hold off, but I'm still like, because they're doing all the demos that week, you know, I I, I, I want to do, you know, I, I want to hold out hope that they're going to do some kind of Halo demo, even if it's just one level or something. So yeah, I'm going in $200, 200 down bucks. Uh, on, on this one. I'm thinking the odds feel a little low for this one because they're only doing the campaign, which I assume means they're going to do multiplayer later. So I don't know if this is a sure thing, but I'm putting 150 on it. 150 Don bucks. I like it. Usually, uh, you know, sometimes they announce that there will be a beta or a demo at a later date. They don't say what day oh, yeah, that is. Yeah, it doesn't is. need to have a day. Correct. That's a good point. They just have to announce that there will be one in the future. Also, since they're doing that demo thing later in the month, maybe, ooh, maybe they'll do some, some hijinks and you can play a Halo demo right away. Two to one odds. Do you think this is uh, accurate? Is this uh, likely to happen? How are you feeling? Yeah, I think this feels pretty good. I'm going to place 500 down on this. <laughs> right out of the gate. I feel like when it comes down to it, this might be the, the one bet that saves or puts the most on this might end up winning because all other belts, bets might fail. <laughs> so I think people underestimate this bet. The the safest bet, they laugh at it. It makes people feel, oh, this is too easy. Uh, I can't do this. Uh, here's a hundred or here's nothing. Pass this over. Big mistake. Big mistake. <laughs> this is wow. absolutely unbelievable. I'm marking it down. How, what do you think wow. about this, Huber? You see this coming? No. Once again, Damiani is rattling my senses and perceptions of what a betting special is. 500 immediately out of the gate. He, no hesitation. He smells blood in the water. He sees weakness and he attacks it like a barracuda straight to the heart. I love it. What do we got next, Huber? Next up, we will see Xbox controllers being used in someone's hands. This is such a funny bet. Xbox controllers in their hands. Mr. Ellis coming in being with three to one odds. If they're holding it in their hands, but not playing anything, does that count? 
Well, uh, holding it, uh, what level of interaction uh, do the fingers have to participate like, in to be considered being used? Yeah, uh, let's say that's a council decision, I assume. Let's say he's just holding it up. The new Xbox controller. I would that's say no. showing, not using. Yeah, I'm going to say yes. I, I feel this. like this is them showing off some of their first party efforts. I feel like developer interviews, you know, so studio inside tour is not uncommon for these. Maybe show a dev playing on some developer unit or something, holding that controller, man. It could easily happen. There's got to be something, right? Uh, three to one odds. I mean, it's a safe bet. What do you want me to mark you down for two Just for now? Just 200 for now. Mark you down for two. You got it, Brad. I think it would be really, really hard to get away from this event without seeing that in somebody's hands. Uh, even though they're focusing only on games, they're not talking about, you know, new hardware configurations or anything like that. Like, I, I'm putting 400 down bucks on this. Uh, I think there's going to be some dev diary, someone talking about Halo, something, somebody's going to come out here and be holding that controller and telling people what it can do for games in the future and all this stuff. Yeah, it's, it's seems super likely to me. I feel confident I'm doing 400 on this one. Whoa. Hopefully if someone's playing, the camera's not zoomed in on their face. I'm thinking we might see like a, a montage of controller construction and at some point, cause it doesn't say someone's playing anything. They might just be holding it and like moving the sticks around or something. Great observational skills, Ian. Cause Xbox has for sure done that before. I love the way Ian is picking apart this bet and looking for any weakness in it. And he seems to have found a major flaw because it is pretty clear. I mean, this does not say they need to be interacting with the game, uh, right? Absolutely. Ian's been here before. I think with it, still being, you know, hyping up the next generation, you want to show off the controller. Like when you're presenting a product, you want to show off every part, right? You want the package to be as big as possible. So maybe Phil Spencer will sit down or somebody will will use a controller to emphasize that feel of a, of a console coming, right? Because I, I think just like with PlayStation showing, showing off the, the console and the controller, Great, but now you're going to get to see it in somebody's hands. You're going to think to yourself, that someone might as well be me. Absolutely, Ben, 100%. And I'll tell you what, if Phil Spencer did take that signature custom controller and he sat down with it, he'd be making a lot of people happy for a lot of reasons because mm -hmm. that'd be a two for two payout on that little foreshadowing of things to come. Am I right, Huber? I was thinking the same thing. I said, as, as soon as Ben said, sitting down and Phil Spencer or my ears perked up. This has been a very trusty controller. It has never let me down. And I feel like I have to have to pay the respects to the controller now and do it justice and do it right. So I'm putting 500 big ones on this. Yes! Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> what we've been waiting for, right, Humor? Big money, big moves, big Damiani. Dropping one thousand Don bucks in the first two bets. It's unreal. Another low odds. We'll see if this one maybe tickles your fancy. We will see Xbox controllers being used in someone's hands. Uh, what do you think, Jones? Is it a possibility at a at an, a, a non-stage event to see something like this? Don, consider yeah. me tickled. <laughs> good, good. And to and to what degree, Jones? <laughs> I'm putting my biggest wager on this one. A thousand oh. Don Bucks. Holy smokes, Huber. <laughs> we had the oh. bet of the night so far. A yeah. thousand yeah. Don Bucks. Unprecedented. Yeah. That's happening. That's happening. Come on. Taking you gotta, my breath away. All of these games that they're going to show, you know, they're so happy about the hardware. Like, uh, <laughs> yeah. Is something what is it going to be officially from microsoft i don't know you know it might be kind of a behind the scenes if somebody is working on something you know we these people are making fable but it's not done yet but they're really happy to work on development and then there it is you know they and i like to use you didn't say series x because it you know who knows what controller devs got like very I've seen true. photos of people's PC setups. I got 360 controllers sitting <laughs> very, there. So as long as it's true. Xbox. Oh, it's bad. Okay. He Good thought boy. about it, Don. He yeah. thought about this yeah. bet. That was the logic of I mean, someone I don't, who did some thinking. 
At a distance, could you tell a difference between a Series X and an Xbox One controller? I could not, but I don't know. Probably not. I won't be Probably. the one doing the hard work at the end of this. Probably not. Uh, Huber, I'm nervous. The amount of Don Bucks people are laying on the line on individual bets to this point has made me nervous. Mm -hmm. But a bet mm -hmm. of a thousand Don Bucks on even a three to one odd Huber can sink our ship. We've got to be very cautious with Jonesy here. Yeah, we might need to consult with the pit boss on this one, Don. I don't know. That was very <laughs> aggressive with a thousand dollars. Let's see where it goes from here, Huber. Phil Spencer will take a seat. I must ask for one quick clarification on this. Must Phil Spencer be in the act of taking a seat or will him already being seated count as satisfying this bet? Glad you asked. We can provide you with necessary information based on your questioning. Taking a seat is different than being seated. And there is some language here, there, even within the language. I mm -hmm. think there still might be some gray areas uh, a little bit. So who knows? Uh, hopefully this one won't get pushed to the council. But all right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna make an adjustment here, but I will be placing 300 Don Bucks down on this one. I love this. <laughs> I had, I love I had to, big moves. I had to, I had to reduce it. I was uh, I, I was putting it. a lot into this one, but that clarification has made me wary and uh, made me reconsider. Okay. I love it. He puts 300 down and this is a small bet for Damiani. Holy mm -hmm. smokes, you were in the presence of a mighty big fish here. We are 1300 already on the table. So here, this is like, I'm wondering what the philosophy of their presentation will be because Phil Spencer showed up on like eight different presentations now and he's always been sitting at his house on a Zoom call. So, the question is, are they pulling out the stops and filming something in a thing where he'll be standing, or will he be in at some point in his chair at home? And, and just for clarity, take a seat. Like, if the shot starts and he's already seated, that counts, right? Well, this is a gray area. I think it's an it's some interesting verbiage on the bet itself. Uh, taking a seat can be interpreted uh, multiple ways. How do you see this, Uber? I think if someone is sitting, they they did not take a seat. They have already sat. They have already taken a seat. Mm -hmm. so, so they would be sitting. Right, so it's not taking well, that's... a seat in the present <laughs> tense. Am I right? It's a mm -hmm. thing. Um, if, he <laughs> if he has to literally sit down on camera, that's insane. <laughs> now look at this, Ian. What if, what if he's standing and he has a chair next to him and he, and he sort of moves that chair a little bit into a different position but never actually sits down? That may count as well. Am I wrong? If he picks it up and moves it? Correct. Uh, I'll tell you what, I just I just shifted a hundred Don Bucks off of this onto a different bet because of this tomfoolery. This is hijinks. I'm putting 200 on it still, but I, I, I call I call hijinks on this bet. You guys are insane. This means he's not already sitting. He's standing and then sits? Taking a seat. It's so be if he were already sitting, he will he will be sitting. He will not be taking a seat. Right. That's what I figured. Yeah. yeah. I, nobody's moving. Nobody. If you're standing, you're standing. You're sitting. You're sitting. Nobody's nobody's yeah. changing their profiles during this. this We're not going to see show. that. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I don't think he's going to be standing then sit down. I believe okay. he will be sitting down already or standing already. I don't think there will be the motion of him sitting down since this is at home most likely or very low budget, I guess, and that would take camera adjusting or like the perfect shot. I don't know, just from the past Phil interviews that we've seen, usually he just looks high as fuck to me. So I think he's just gonna be sitting down, just chilling, big Phil style. Nah, Phil Spencer is someone that either stands or sits. He's not- We have no that. time for transitions. <laughs> transitions during this, this next gen first party showcase imply weakness. We will not have that in our marketing for the Microsoft brand. We will either sit or stand, no in-betweens.
No half measures. No half measures, channeling the great Mike Ehrman Trout, getting that power, getting those vibes. Yep. Great bet. I, I'm not I'm not biting on this. Uh, I, don't, I don't think we'll see him actually take the seat. I think we'll either see him sitting down at his desk or we'll see him standing up looking in the camera. I don't think there's any anything that would warrant him like taking that 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 action of sitting down. Battletoads will become available within yeah. 24 hours of the show ending. No. I don't think so. Hard no, no hesitation. I think that game got some backlash when it was shown, primarily for the art style. I think they wanted to keep it dark for a little bit. I think that'd be a good game to have come out alongside the new consoles though, just around that time. You know, just like a nice little, like smaller game to throw in there. You gotta flush out the catalog on the launch, you know what I mean? You gotta have your big games and your smaller games. Mm -hmm. Like PS4 had Resogun or something like that. I can see Battletoads just fitting real nice in there, or close to it. But I don't think they're gonna pull the, it's available tomorrow. This one I didn't feel good about. I don't I don't like, uh, I don't like Microsoft and Shadow Drops right now. They do have that, that, that week of demos coming out. This is after that, so I think if anything, that would hit before this this event. So I'm not I'm not feeling too good about about that one specifically, but you never know. Any shadow droppy stuff just just gives me the the gives me the chills when I think about it. Actually putting money on gives it. Gives me know? chills. The good kind. Of course. Hard pass on that. All right, Huber, nothing there. Big odds coming down the pipes now. Here we go. Yeah. Uh, I can't ignore those odds. But I also, it feels like a long shot, so I'm, I'm just gonna put 50 on this one. Just 50. 50. I'd really like that. Just a nice minimum little bet. minimum bet. You've got the yeah. Don Bucks to spend. Battletoads is an interesting one because we saw it at E3 last year. It was there, it was, I played it. it. A lot of people didn't really feel like it felt that great. And so it, it sort of disappeared after that. But I do feel like they could have reworked this thing and they, they could have it ready by now. Uh, and it's not something that necessarily has to be uh, a Series X next-gen thing, but it's it's just this w weird question of when is it going to show up, where is it going to show up? So yeah, I, I think that, uh, you know, putting a, a, a minimum 50 Don Bucks on this, uh, I think it's a, 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 f a fair place to, to say this, this could happen. This is not out of the question. You know, Don, I love hedging bets. I love small risk, potential big payouts. Minimum bet on seven to one odds can uh, reap a big reward without taking too big a hit if it doesn't come to fruition. What do you think? I'm really happy Blood jumped on this. Not too many people did, and I think it might bite him for it. I think uh, I agree with Blood. This could happen at any time, at any place and a lot of people will be happy when it does, but none more than blood with that seven to one payout just going straight into his billfold. I love it. Yeah, so this this was this is a risky one and probably not going to happen, but haven't heard a peep about Battletoad since it revealed, okay? Not a lot of heat behind that Battletoads announcement. And we know Phil likes it hot, okay? And so they're probably sitting in their, their virtual boardrooms or whatever they do. And they're thinking, how can we get some heat behind this announcement? We release it, we show some banger trailers, and then we sprinkle in a little bit of Battletoads. I love this bet, Don. Little concerned about Ben's hesitation and disbelief when he was placing the bet, but uh, we'll see. Well, we know- Yeah, we I mean, the hesitation comes from, you know, betting on something like Dragon's Dogma 2 and being screwed on the odds. I'm playing a rigged game. <laughs> I'm playing a rigged game. <laughs> there's a, there's a <laughs> remnants of, as you know, this is a continuity from the PlayStation event. You could re-watch that to get all the sort of details if you want of what Ben is referring to. But I'll tell you what, Huber, I don't sense uh, uh, any sort of lack of confidence mm -hmm. in this wager uh, on part of Ben. And the reason is because Don Bucks talk. And what are you putting down on this, Ben? It's, I think it's a loud statement you're making, isn't it? Yeah, I pulled my Don Bucks from out underneath the mattress and I put them on 
I put them on. 300, 300 big ones, right? Ooh, Am I correct, Ben? Shit. That's the amount you're wagering here. We're marking you down. And Huber, that says that's a man with confidence taking a big swing. And that's how big numbers are generated in my book. The initial hesitation struck down with a confident 300 Don Bucks pulled from the mattresses. <laughs> Okay, here's what we've got next. Number five, a batarang will be thrown. Seven to one odds. It's kind of a lot of money on there, huh? What do you think, Brad? Seven to one odds, Brad. A bat. Is this before the DC event or after it? This is before, yes? No. A batarang will not be thrown. I don't believe it. I've been <clears throat> let down too many times. I know Huber can feel this vibe. But I feel like just a hard no. All the times where I was sure that it would be there, but it never was. But if it does come true, I will gladly eat those points. Gladly. Pleasure. Wow. So he's been burned. A pleasure, yeah. And you can hear it in the man's voice. He's been burned badly by Batman in the past, and he's not going to let it happen again. I the amount of times I've been burned that. by Batman in my life is pretty high. <laughs> Thinking with his head, not his heart. <laughs> yeah. Once again, the mind of a champion. A batarang. A what now? Will be thrown. <laughs> Here we go. A batarang. Is that... Is that one of the things that Batman throws? One of those guys? <laughs> Little bass signal mm -hmm. thing Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. Here's the problem. I have a friend of mine that oh, is convinced, info. is convinced repeatedly that this, this game is gonna be, and some Batman game is gonna be announced. And he has taken any sort of passion, any sort of optimism that I have for that project and just, just ground it into a pole. You know, just, <laughs> Just mortar pestle, just dust now. I got nothing. But, so, I don't think I'm gonna be making money on this. I'm not making like a, you know, I'm not gonna make a statement here as far as my earnings go. I can't not bet on this. Yeah. I love this. How so, much? Just 50, I'll just put a little 50 on 50, there. D for good vibes. 50 Don Bucks, just so we can have, cause then it's, you know, it's kind of the same thing with the Halo Infinite demo. I'll be excited even though I'm not betting on that. If this happens, it's a double win. You know, I get a little bit of Don Bucks on the side, plus batarangs are cool. I love it. Huber Hope can never die, and mm -hmm. it's a beautiful thing. And Jones the feel-good bet of the show, Don. 100% Huber. You couldn't have said it better than my heart is warm right now, yeah. and I'm going to mm -hmm. be looking for that uh, batarang to come out of the left field. Uh, I kept this one on a, a minimum as well, on a 50. Yeah, my thinking here is that we could see a Batarang that is not necessarily in a Batman game. I was you know, waiting could, for somebody to yes. have this logic, Blood <laughs> <Yes. laughs> We could we could have something you know very much like the the Fortnite skin or, or whatever. You know, I don't I don't know off the top of my head what game would most warrant it right now. But yeah, that's what I'm thinking that like Batman just gets spread around. I don't know, did somehow that they get Batman in a Killer Instinct game? Probably not, but you know, uh, maybe maybe Nightwing or somebody, I don't know. It will be something to look forward to. And remember though, Blood, we have to see this uh, Batarang airborne. We have to see it mm -hmm. in motion, okay? So it's not as simple as it sounds, but I wish you luck on it. All right, Ian, you're wearing the shirt. A yeah. Batarang will be thrown. Coming in seven to one odds. 300 Don Bucks. 300. Oh. Speaking to my soul, Ian, that is a feel good bet if I've ever seen it. Total, total bonkers bet, but you got a dream, you know? Batman is hilariously overdue. At this point, we're just going to be throwing batarangs around for fun, okay? <laughs> like, just to remember what it feels like. Where's Batman? Come on. It, if, if not now, then when? A hundred percent. I mean, everyone is waiting. Everyone is wondering uh, when this is going to happen. Now seems as good as time as any. And uh, what are you putting down on this one, Ben? How confident are you? Yeah, you're getting in on this, Ben? How much are we talking here? Yeah, well, the last of my, my money. I had to dig in the couch cushions for this. 300. I... 300 on Batman, Ben, a man of the people betting on this bet. 
channeling Batman. Love and respect. Unfortunately, I just don't trust the Batman right now. Oh. I have Few to ask. do, Domi. I have to ask the question. Few do. Where is the Batman? Where is he? Where is he? He's at home. Next up, Domiani, coming in at a scorching hot eight to one odds, Joanna Dark will reveal herself. This is one where I am, I'm going against my heart's desire here. I have been on the record earlier saying that in order for Microsoft to give an A plus press conference slash event, Perfect Dark, which by proxy means Joanna Dark showing up, most likely, uh, we need to be present. But I'm passing on this because as much as I want to see that happen, and I know there are rumors, I, I don't think this is the safe one. I looked at the full full set of bets here, and uh, yeah, my heart just spoke to me on this one and said, walk away, walk <sighs> away from this one. Walking wow. away? from Joanna Dark, even aware of the rumors, Damiani coming in prepared like a professional better. Walking away from the bet though, thinking again with his head, not his heart, Don. Yeah, yeah, he's just uh, marching straight through the sewing circles and uh, nothing being said is affecting his course in any way. He's just straight full steam ahead and I love it. Mm -hmm. It's the strategy of a winner in my book. Joanna Dark. Yeah. Why Joanna out of everything? It's so funny and weird, <laughs> but I don't know for sure on this one yet because it is very possible. Eight to one odds. I mean, it almost makes almost anything worth uh, the risk on that, you right? No, no for now. No wow. for now. Wow. I'll and see how I feel. Now. This is very interesting. Conservative passing on several bets. Not okay, let me walk you through it though. Why? Okay. Joanna Dark is part of a large lineage of rare games that people love big time. I feel like the one they will do first, so if they do Rare, is Banjo-Kazooie. Banjo is the hottest character in Rare lineup that's been missing. He came back in Smash, for God's sakes. You don't see Joanna Dark in Smash yet. <laughs> True. So there And there is already Halo coming out, which is a shooter. Perfect Darks. I mean, it's more like there's more than just shooting it, obviously, wow. but it's a big part yeah, of it. Good logic there. Banjo could fill the platformer space if they do it correctly. Mm -hmm. Now, they could make a Banjo shooter, which I would just hate, but it's possible. So I'm going <laughs> to say no. I'm going to take 200 off the Halo Infinite bet. And I'm going to place it on Joanna Dark. <laughs> when Joanna Dark and Batman show up, you know who to thank. Yeah, they're going to show up together, in fact. <laughs> That's my bet. I, I, I have no reason to believe this other than I just want it to happen. That's it. My favorite kind of bets, Ben. Yep. Thinking yep. from the heart, thinking from the soul, wishing them into existence. Don, what do you think of these bets? We've had some, some thought out, calculated players placing bets. Ben's coming in here, throwing around cash with reckless abandon, following his heart. The only way I know how to handle money. I love, I love <laughs> it, Uber. It's an economic strategy I've followed myself all my life. Not always working out for the best, but it sure feels good. What a rush. And Ben's got us pumped up for this show at this point. Thank you, Mr. Moore. Yeah, why not? I love it. You know what I mean? I think it's one of those franchises that uh, would be unexpected, but not impossible. You know, it's one of those things in the wings. It's like they 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 have it. It's there's nothing, there's no bad blood or anything. Any kind of weird stories, you're like there's a huge hurdle they would have to get over. They just gotta decide that it's worth something and invest in it. So, uh, I'll throw four hundred down bucks that way. Whoa! Why not? Yeah, <laughs> love this. Yeah. Big, big money being thrown here with eight to one odds, Don. That is a potentially huge payout. And it's Jonesy's second biggest uh, wager of the evening. So you never know where he's going to come out swinging on this one with the thousand and then the 400. 
putting some big Don bucks on the line. You gotta respect that. And we'll talk about this later. Whereas this bet was not, will a new perfect dark game be announced? This is, will Joanna Dark reveal herself? Yes. So you got, you got yeah. montage potential, you got poster potential in the background of an office, you got uh, the history of Xbox potential, you got what oh. was your favorite, what was your favorite Xbox exclusive asked to some oh. random developer not even working on a rare mm -hmm. old franchise game. Mm -hmm. So there's other, there's other possibility. A figure on someone's desk, Oh man, the payday. Ching. I'm nervous. I gotta say this bet <laughs> makes me nervous now. Very nervous. I don't like it. This is eight to one, Ian. You gonna get in on this? I am. I'm putting a hundred on this one. And I'm just I'm hoping that at the very least she's in some kind of like Xbox retrospective montage or something. Cause that would count. She's revealing herself. 100% Ian picking apart oh. the verbiage of these bets like a true veteran of the betting specials. If Joanna <laughs> ah. Dark shows up in any capacity, oh. you get paid. You know, I don't like this now. I don't like this at all. My, I got my <laughs> stomach. My stomach ulcer is erupting like a volcano right now. Joanna Dark will reveal herself, okay? Eight to one odds. What do you think about this? You wanna hop on and go for a ride with this wager or what? Yep, yep, spreading, spreading these pennies. Like I said, it was another 50 minimum. Um, I think Joanna Dark can show up. I think she, uh, she could be in a new game. She could be in some, you know, for Sea of Thieves update. She could be in a montage for Rare. Uh, yeah, Joanna being there when we're talking about first party games, uh, I, I think there's a good good chance of that, just that face flying by the screen. It's like, oh, that was it. That was her. Very similar to Knack, yeah. Outstanding. After hearing Blood's logic on this, uh, Huber, as long as, as long with, along with a couple of the other contestants, there is no mm -hmm. other bet on the board that makes me more nervous than this one right now. I, I think know, me the, too, me the too. The bookies might have had a major oversight not specifying a new version of Joanna Dark, and oh boy, if anything makes me uh, nervous, this one's making me sweat bullets. Me too, me too, sweating bullets, but she could easily disappear like a, a ghost and, and just ghost this event, highly possible. But uh, after some of these bets, Don, I too am sweating. Shaking in my shorts, Huber, what's next? Lowering the odds here a bit, coming back down low a special edition console or controller of any kind will be shown. I'm not exactly sure what's scaring me away from this bet. I think it might be uh, the three to one, I think kind of might be, you know, really speaking truth to my mind of, of just kind of really what, you know, potentially how obvious this could be, but at the same time, like, I don't know if it's special edition time. I don't know if it's tough. I think it's a game focused thing. You know, it's like even even as, as much as I'm counting on some of that behind the scenes dev stuff, I don't know if we're going to see a lot of it. I think this might be one of those trailer, 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 trailer type shows. Modest stakes here. Mm -hmm. Very modest stakes. But uh, I look to history and this has been something Microsoft does almost like clockwork at these types of things. And the fact that the language includes a controller of any kind just the uh, I am surprised you didn't give this as two to one because I think this is the, <laughs> the sure bet on here besides the Halo one. Uh, I mean, it's close, but it probably should be two to one as well. But you know, you're giving out gifts as well. I'll take your, your, your dolly gifts. I'm placing wow. 600 Don Bucks. Holy wow! Because <laughs> My heart. <laughs> I feel like there'll be either a, a day one edition, founders edition, something like that. Like, or the controller, they're gonna unveil those colored, customized color controllers. Oh. Some, there's gonna be one of those. One of those will be there present. See. And, you know, maybe even a Cyberpunk 2077 Xbox Series X console. Microsoft just loves this stuff. To, uh, to talk a little about the odds there, three to one as opposed to two to one, Damiani, I think those recent Eurogamer Lockhart uh, rumors about new additions being shown at a later date, might have impacted the odds slightly here to bump it up to three to That's one rather than very, two. Very true. But that controller language 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If you a controller in there, that means it doesn't have to be a system. It has yep. to be one of their customizable controllers they've been doing since OG Xbox. Does day one edition count? Those are limited slash special, so I would absolutely I will say, say yes I will, then. Uh, yes, okay, I would tend to think yes, and it's a three to one, it's safe, but what do you want to do with this? You've got a lot of dough still. Okay, let's put a fat 500 on it for now. There it is. There's a number I was looking for. Ooh, Microsoft loves different versions. Massive, we all know this. Hmm. Massive investment in his future. Wow, big money. That Big Master money. Chief version, baby. Brad playing off history once again, the Straight. mind of a champion. Um, yeah, so I'm I'm putting a full full hundred Don Bucks on this one. Uh, and I uh, I think I think controller is more likely to me. I think a special edition Halo controller or something like that. I think with the new consoles, they're not likely to to do uh, a new console like right at launch because they just have to ship as many of those things as they can. Uh, but I, I think controllers have a pretty pretty fair shot of it. Uh, and particularly because, um, you know, those new controllers, it sounds like they're gonna be compatible um, across systems. So, you know, they're, that's something that just pretty much anyone can pick up and they could they could make. Three to one, I think you guys know that this, there's a pretty good chance of this happening. I'm gonna put 200 on this. Uh, I like I like of any kind. Uh, that that makes this wide open. So I think you'd be foolish not to take a piece of this. I concur. Remember, it's got to be a special edition, not just a Series X or a Lockhart. Uh, we have heard rumors that the Lockhart event will be taking place in August. Might be too early, but who knows? We'll see. It's too safe for me. Very likely, but just, you know, just doesn't really get the blood flowing. Too safe. Mm-hmm. More. Playing the odds, craving the action, spoken like a true degenerate. Living on the edge of Houston. This is an interesting one, Ian. I'd be curious to see how you pick this one apart. Skyrim will make an appearance, and at six to one odds, you gotta think, man, that's a little more likely than, than we may presume. Is there anywhere, any next gen this, uh, event this game won't show up at? I don't know. I mean, it's been a mainstay. GTA V showed up at the PS5 event, so anything's possible. I'm just gonna put 50 on it. Why not? He's got the Why bank. Not? He's got the bucks. I'm not gonna leave one red cent untouched. Skyrim is one of the the biggest uh, RPG franchises in, in terms of scope, in terms of uh, persistence, <laughs> and in terms of platforms. Uh, I, I, I will be very surprised if uh, there is a platform that Skyrim does not show its face on. Uh, so <laughs> I think very much like the GTA uh, reveal, we could get something like Skyrim. I think uh, that uh, for Elder Scrolls 6, we could see a bunch of people talking about Skyrim. Uh, yeah, I, I think if Bethesda even just comes out talking about the advantages of smart delivery and, and SSDs, we could see footage of Skyrim. Like It's just, you know, how does Skyrim benefit from you know seamless load times? We're gonna we're gonna hear it. Hundred Don bucks on that. I love it, covering all his bases tonight, Huber. You know, coming in with a short stack and making really solid wagers all around. Economical choices, smart. I mean, Blood didn't have a lot of spend uh, to spend tonight, but somehow he's getting in on all of the action, it seems. I'm excited about this. Damiani, six to one odds. Skyrim will make an appearance. The Elder Scrolls Skyrim. Skyrim, known so... to crash. And party or two, what do you think, Damiani? Will they show up again uninvited? Skyrim has crashed a lot of parties. 
been a, a long time party crasher. He's made pretty much a career out of it. <laughs> and uh, I think the party will continue in the 2021, in 2020, 2021 for sure. Ooh. I think Skyrim is not done with the crashing, oh. but, <laughs> but okay. I do not think they'll be crashing this party. Okay, okay, okay. Hey, okay, I was expecting big money there, Tom. Yeah, I was getting nervous I know, again, I was too. setting you up there, but oh. unfortunately this is not the one. Uh, what about this? Skyrim will make an appearance. This is six to one. The bookies seem to think there's a good chance that Skyrim's going to rear its uh, head again. Is it going to, is it possible, Jones? Anything's possible, Don. That's the beauty of life, of this industry. And I commend you for this bet. I will, I'm not taking it, but it, I, it's, it's good. It's a good bet. Not even 50. Not even 50 on that. The Elder Scrolls Skyrim. <laughs> no, I'm gonna say no. Oh wow! Out of pure principle, <laughs> I'll be furious if they show this game again. Stop it! God, that game came out in 2011. <laughs> the odds, Brad. Re before you make your final decision, it's six to one, mm -hmm. and that's because I don't know if it's rumors. I don't know if it's inside info. It could always show up. I don't know who's scratching who's back, but for yes. some reason, these bookmakers think it might be there. Well, because, like, think about what Bethesda has to show you. They have Fallout 4, Fallout 76, which, you know, not, not looked upon favorably right now. I can't even think of another game they put out since then, really. I, I mean, the Elder Scrolls Online, I guess, that could be their representation. Like, we ain't seen Elder Scrolls 6. There's no way. No. No. Stay out. Ben Moore. Six to one odds here. A little higher. A little more, a little more action here for you. Skyrim will make an appearance. If Skyrim makes an appearance, we're doomed. <laughs> I think I think my faith that humanity depends on Skyrim not making an appearance. <laughs> Green light will burst through the Xbox X logo. I love this bet. I love it too. I have a question. Burst, because it used to like literally crack through and burst out. What if it's just shining through? Well, Shining I... through, seeping through, bursting through, Don. Coming Wait. through, okay. All of those could count, but I think part of the, uh, one of the important things to pay attention to is that the light needs to be passing through the X itself yeah. and not the perimeter of the X? Not around this, the X. Is this what, how we're seeing this? That's yes. kind of what I'm thinking. And remember, glowing is not bursting. So if it's glowing, <laughs> I don't think that counts. A glow is around the perimeter, typically, unless it's an inner glow. But that implies that it's being generated by the X itself and not shining through the X. It gets it gets tricky if the X is translucent and light is permeating it. It's technically coming through it. But yeah, anyway, I'm 150. 150. 150, I love it. Going in and going in not big, but for something with a, a 9 to 1. Uh, don't forget, too, Ian, green light. It is specified, so that makes it a little more tricky. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm putting a little down here. Uh, I'm doing another little, little 50, little minimum bet. I don't see it happening, really because I feel like they've moved away from that. They've gone to the little circle globe thing with the green streaming into it and all that stuff. Uh, but uh, I, I still think it's possible that some game might either throw back to it or try to do like a dramatic thing. Uh, so yeah, I think I think that it still could happen. I just don't think it's extremely likely. So I, I, I just put a minimum on it. What do you think about this? Is it, is it possible so we, we witness something like this? This this is this is like a this bet is a, like a mouse trap. Like you're you're just like putting cheese down, waiting for one of us poor mice to come in and get our necks snapped. This bet this bet is done for the views, man. This this is will be so debatable, because like if you go by the letter of it, it will have to burst through, and then we'll have to debate what bursting through means. Yes. I don't want any drama. I just want cash. <laughs> just wants to live his life <laughs> in peace with yeah. pockets overflowing with Don Bucks. Nothing wrong with that in my book. Burst through, so it just looks like it's lit up or something. It'll pass through it. 
in some way through the X itself. <laughs> Light will emanate from it and wrap it at a rapid speed. Like, is this inc so? This includes something that's not real, like a computer graphic, right? Absolutely. Because there's no way it'll be re real. Light passing through an <laughs> Xbox logo. It's something they were known to do in the past. Perhaps I don't know if they would. Uh bring it back, maybe in some new form. Uh, there's Shit. a lot of visual uh, experimentation that Sony was doing and those little interludes between their uh, trailers in the last event. Who knows how Xbox will come back at them. Okay, I'm gonna say yes. Ah, I I'm gonna this. say yes. I love this. I 200 on this for now, because it sounds ridiculous. <laughs> and that's what I expect from next gen. I like this. I like. I like what this could mean. It's like, makes me think of like the Hulk raging out, ripping off that shirt, from turning from Banner into Big Hulk and just screaming. I don't know, I, I think we look at all the logos from Microsoft and they like to make it look stylized, but it's still, that green has not gone anywhere. And you know what, that console has so many like little ports and holes in it, like how it's designed as like, there's, you know what? There might be an X logo on there where there might be some green light coming out of it, bursting through that logo. I feel good. So, you know what? With those nine to one odds, throwing 300 Dawn Bucks down. Yeah. That covers my entire spread. Wow. <laughs> 300 there, possible 2,700 Dawn Buck payout. Yeah. I absolutely love it. Just m taking another massive swing, mm -hmm, a, mm -hmm. a risk where where a calculated risk, but uh, Damiani is on board with a fun one. Now, what I learned from the last spending special, and I think I've known this every spending special, like for some reason, like forget it every single time that we do this, but like the language, man, can just shift right and left like trees swaying in the wind you think you mean something with one thing you think a zoom call means one thing but no <laughs> it means something else like, the council zoom means kleenex this is not i mean i'm the, not you know the just, council just cannot it. be just, questioned you gotta be careful no i'm not questioning anybody i'm just saying this is as a, as somebody's yeah. making the bets yeah uh so i see some potential manipulation with uh, some effects here. If I see an X anywhere on a screen and green light of any color, of any of any type, anywhere else on another part of that screen, I'm calling this bet. Five hundred dollars on this one. Baby. Oh my gosh! There could I be a, there could be a best of montage. There could be it could this. be on a T-shirt. There's so many potential opportunities for this to happen. Okay, now here we are. This is where it gets fun, okay? This is new. We're offering up an optional box trifecta picks. Uh, you, uh, you know the rules on this, Ian. You pick three of these choices for 300 Don Bucks, and you hope that they're the first three out of this list to be presented. Uh, do you want to get in on any of this action with the trifecta wager? Yeah, I'm... Uh, my first trifecta... Ooh, multiple. I love this will be Halo Infinite, Psychonauts 2, and Senua's Saga Hellblade 2. That's my first trifecta. Playing it safe, dollars. I love that. Playing it safe, I just wanna, you know. Nine, $1,400 return on a $300 investment is pretty good for a safe play, I think, too. I'd say yeah. so. And my second is a little more dreamy. I'm, I'm, keeping, I'm keeping two thirds of it a sure thing. So my second trifecta, Halo Infinite, Hellblade 2, and then I gotta throw in Elden Ring. Gotta, I have to. Ian, coming in with the double trifecta. Yeah, baby. Okay, Halo, uh, Hellblade. Hellblade, Halo. And Forza. Okay, Hellblade, Halo, and Forza, okay. You want to do That's any other uh, kind? 300 down on that one. This one. list, dude, this is so <laughs> many dreams. You see that, well, the dreams pay off and they pay off big. Brad, look down Dead that space. List. There's some big, <laughs> there's some big. <laughs> it was a last minute edition. Yeah. <laughs> there's some big dreams there. Yakuza's an interesting pick. 
Uh, Battle Toads, huh? Battle Toad shows up again on this list. Multiple opportunities to make some Don Bucks off of Battle Toads. Okay, I'll put Battle Toads in there. Okay, you pick it. now. You're gonna take Battle Toads. Now give me two, two more, more games, and and they can be. You can repick the same game if you want. Okay, them. Battle Toads, Halo. Battle Toads, you're gonna go in there. Okay, Halo, uh, Halo, and Forza. And Forza, I love this. Okay, anything left in those pockets to spend on some trifectas, Damiani? I'm gonna stick to just one trifecta, and my trifecta will consist of Halo. Senua Saga, Senua Saga Hellblade 2, and Forza. Hmm. Smart. Smart. Seen a, seen a few of those, actually. It's such a huge payoff, just like that last bet, that, I, as you said, I have a little bit of extra to throw around. Might as well take that risk, because if it pays off, someone else bet on it as well. You know, hey, it's just keeping me at pace with those someone who's desperate. I feel there's some, the, some of the people with lower amounts will get, get a little bit desperate, maybe. And, uh, and do big bets, so I gotta I gotta <laughs> counter that. Absolutely, covering all your bases, Damiani. A lot of respect for what you're doing out here today. Yeah. So, what are your three gonna be? The first three from this list that you think yep. will be presented. Those three will be Forza, Hellblade Two, and Fable. Oh wow! I love that bold move. Going dude. out. Going out on a lie, a limb, a little bit. Wow. Oh, yeah. Able. yeah, yeah. That's a little Dude. bit of that. That's a little bit of that. That uh, that Huber magic that I'm just trying to a little Tinker Bell. I'm <laughs> just trying to sprinkle oh. on the event. It's just like, well, you know, it might not be announced. I did bet on it though. Do you want to take advantage of this new box trifecta that's being offered for three hundred dollars a pop? Yeah, I am, and uh, this is kind of why I spread myself out a little bit because this trifecta is it's pricey. You gotta put in a good chunk of change to get a trifecta. So for my my 300, uh, I'm going with Psychonauts 2, Hellblade 2, and Forza. Um, they've been talking a lot about Halo. We know Halo is a known quantity. We know people are gonna show up to see Halo. So I don't see them putting that out there in the early goings. I think that's gonna be la later half, uh, or at least somewhere in that halfway point. Uh, before they, they pull the Halo card. You know, I tend to agree, Huber. A lot of people jumped on uh, a Halo as one of their picks, and it's mm -hmm. kind of what I was thinking. Like, everyone knows this is going to be there. Why would they open the show with it? No need to, right? They want to open with a couple surprises, a couple something fresh, maybe that Forza. I think mm -hmm. this is a wise pick from Blood. Well thought out. I agree, you know, Halo Infinite, it's either going to start or end this thing. So, I think it's a wise choice. I think you save your big bullet for the end, you end on a crunch, and you end with that Halo Infinite, but only time will tell. Okay, so you have 300 Don 300 over. You could go for another uh, trifecta, you could uh, throw it around, add to something, bump something up. What are you feeling? Uh, what do you want to do with this last bit of pocket change? How do you want to uh, utilize it? Butterworth looks excited that he has 300 <laughs> left. That is a look of excitement. It's unbelievable. He got in on all the action. It seems like he was dancing all over the board tonight, and yet he still has a surplus. It's just mm -hmm. unbelievable. Economic advisor blood work. I, yeah, no, I think I might actually, I think I might hang on to that, that change. It carries over, it rolls over, Whoa! save it for a rainy day. I love this. Unprecedented. The first <laughs> contestant to take advantage of this strategy and not blow through their whole wad as we know. What is it, Huber? This carries over to the next one. Yes, this, this does. Ca this carries over. Bloodworth now, the wow. early front runner with 300 ton bucks <laughs> in his pocket. He's in first place before the show even has gotten started. This is unreal. Wow. You know, we rubbed you wrong with those Dragon's Dogma odds, but hopefully our goodwill will kind of ease the tension because you get a free long shot bet. Any long shot, free of charge, if it comes true, 1,000 Don Bucks transferred to directly to your mattress. Yeah, nothing, uh, Ben, you know, you've been 
conducting business with us for many years. We may have uh, crunched some of the numbers wrong. It may have been a slight oversight. We did not <clears throat> intend on any disrespect. And we Absolutely. have this small gesture, a free wager on our part uh, from us to you will help to, uh, to uh, turn swords into plowshares as it were. True professionals, customer service at the top of their list. That's how you know you're dealing with a good business. So what do you think, Ben? Spell it out for us. What's your long shot? All right, so Cyberpunk, big game coming out. I like this. Microsoft is like, we're gonna eat some of that lunch. Microsoft is a lunch eater. They like following up the big boys, okay? Mixer, Zune, <laughs> their play here, they're gonna announce a new Fable game. Not only are they going to announce a new Fable game, you will be able to customize your genitals in the new Fable. <laughs> and this is gonna be a feature that will be uh, revealed during this event, yes? In graphic detail. Well, for me, uh, Huber, this counts, yes? This is approved immediately? I don't know, what's your opinion? <laughs> uh, immediate, you know, Fable is usually family friendly, but customizable genitalia is hot right now, so yeah. I'm ready to stamp this. <laughs> It wouldn't, it, wouldn't, it wouldn't have been something I would have seen coming, but I'm glad it's been presented to us. It's going to be something I'm looking for now, something that's going to sort of be dancing around in the back of my head during the entirety of this uh, program. Absolutely. All right, Ben, you're in for the long shot. Last time I was, the, I, last time I was in Final Bets territory where it had to be so outlandish that it's, it was crazy. And then I come to hear... A lot of the other final bets from last time from the other guys were just things like this game will be announced. And I'm like, well, that's even like no matter how unlikely, it's not like a multi-stage bonanza. So I, I'm dialing it back. I'm, I'm, I'm doing something a little more realistic. My final bet, my long shot bet, Batman will ride a skateboard. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I was worried about approving it. I get Me that, too. I, I give that the stamp of approval immediately. I absolutely love that. Yeah, I, don't, I don't think I've ever seen Batman ride a skateboard in my <laughs> life. If that comes through, I'll pay your winnings on that one out of my own pocket. I'll <laughs> that much, and it'll be worth it. I appreciate Maybe a guest spot in Tony Hawk. Who knows? Who knows? What if it's like a bat symbol on the bottom of a skateboard? I he's got to he's got to be anything. in the cape and cow. If it's just what if it, Bruce Wayne, what if it's a no decal? Go. What if it's a decal of full Batman on a skateboard? I think that would count. I think that Okay, would, okay. I okay. think that if it's a representation of the full not a logo, but yeah, representation Batman himself of yeah. a humanoid form of Batman <laughs> on a skateboard in any way, in any mm -hmm. capacity. I give it the approval. What do you think, Huber? I approve. Okay, we're gonna get a crackdown update, okay? But oh. it is gonna be coming from Terry Crews himself, and it's gonna be one of those old spice, like, like he's gonna come <laughs> crashing through the X spot, like mid speech. <laughs> like they're gonna be detailing, they're gonna be like, so when the warthog goes out and then just, he's gonna come tearing through the screen. Be like, what's up? <laughs> Crackdown DLC. I don't know. It's gonna be DLC or like a game of the year edition or some some sort of reason why Crackdown should be in the show. But it's gonna come from the lips of Terry oh. Crews, violently smashing into, bursting through the Xbox X logo, if you will. I, uh, I, I got so much respect for this wager here. I never would have seen it coming. I mean, so much the specifics. And uh, Crackdown, that alone in itself would almost earn a long shot. <laughs> just, right. just the word Crackdown. <laughs> the word Jones, you've said enough. But uh, yeah. you had me a Crackdown. <laughs> All right, my long shot right here. Uh, I'm going to say at least one Xbox game will be demoed on an Oculus headset. They're buddying up to Facebook. They're doing Facebook streaming. Facebook owns Oculus. They haven't had any play in that VR space that's like really taken off. You know, I think uh, they're, they're doing PC, Game Pass, and all of that. I really think that, you know, now is the time for uh, Xbox to show that they're, they're serious about getting in on that game. They're serious about getting in on the VR game in a real way. I don't know here, Don. It seems a little light. What do you think? 
Yeah, it makes me a little nervous because we look, look, we know at some point somewhere they've got to show us what their intentions are with this Oculus that they've got entangled up with. Uh -huh. uh, uh, this show is all about games. I'd be willing to take your uh, wager, possibly blood, but you've got to push it over the line a little bit. Gotta Three wager here. So let's say, okay. Let's say we're going to get a... Uh, we're gonna say a Halo game will be demoed on the Oculus. Boom! There it is. <laughs> there it is. That's specific. Yes, Uber. Halo Oculus VR game. Oh, Hyper sick. specific. Love it. What is your long shot bet, Mr. Ellis? My long shot is that Microsoft will purchase Mistwalker Studios, who did Lost Odyssey, Blue Dragon. You know, it's Sakaguchi stuff like that they've been doing terror battle all that stuff they're gonna buy them they gotta hit that japanese market they're trying again they were defeated several times before but they're not giving up because they got the cash they're going back they're gonna buy that studio they're gonna make a brand new jrpg it'll be a new ip though it won't be a sequel it'll be brand new i like it I love it. This qualifies to me, Huber. Uh, not only uh, the nature of the bet, but the setting in which that type of announcement would be made, I think certainly qualifies it as a long shot for the Abs game. game Absolutely. Today. It is hyper-specific to Mistwalker Studios. Sakaguchi himself was name-dropped. That's right. Um, and that kind of relieves the pressure to name the specific game. It can just be a JRPG, new IP specifically. I like this bet. I'll even throw in a Sakaguchi appearance in the announcement. Maybe a photo, a quick video, something. A wave, oh. anything. Cocky, cocky yeah. bet. Yeah. Going extra above and beyond. We were already locked in, and now you're yeah. limiting yourself you spice more it up, baby. with Sakaguchi. That's right. The That's right. The confidence of the king, you got to respect it. My long shot is going to be, during this event, Microsoft will announce a brand new Banjo-Kazooie 3, a new platformer, has to be a platformer, and the gameplay hook, or the, or, sorry, the actual hook of it is that there'll be a third new playable character, character joining Banjo and Kazooie. So it won't be just a tag team anymore. It's going to be a trio. What do you think, Don? I'm nervous about this one, Michael. So for some reason in my gut, I'm a little nervous too. I'm a little nervous here. Banjo Kazooie, a hot item, just had a guest appearance in Smash, which always leads me to believe if you show up somewhere, your odds increase of showing up somewhere else. And would it be that much of a stretch to have a third character added? I mean, is that really put it over the top? I don't know. Do we need some specifics about the character? Do we need something extra to push this into the realm of a true long shot? I mean, a thousand dollar payout on this is pretty big. What do you think? I think a little icing on the cake I mean, here. I think a little to swing more. Pot, Damiani. What can you add? A bit yeah. detail, a bit, a bit of something. So, I think most people would expect the third playable character to be Banjo's sister, who, who has been tagging along for a little bit. We had to rescue him, but I want to say no to that because that's just what Donk. That would. That's what they would do in Donkey Kong. They that's make the donkey. family that's members playable. Big this time, is Banjo-Kazooie. Big time DK a, move. A brand new character not seen before in the series. Original design and they're gonna be, their relationship is gonna be in, presented as being antagonistic. Like Banjo-Kazooie don't like them. <laughs> that this character is just there and it's like, <laughs> we have to put up with you. You're just, you're here, okay, fine. So a fifth wheel, so to speak. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I can get behind this. <laughs> okay, I think we're in, we've got enough detail there, Damiani. We're gonna accept your long shot bet. Okay, as you know, we do allow the players to make any last minute changes to their bets if they choose to do so. And that's what this uh, document here represents. These are the final wagers as they stand after all the moves were made. As you can see, Brad pumped up some bets. Uh, Jones made some moves. Uh, it should be noted that everyone spent their entire bankroll with the exception of Bloodworth, as you saw. 
and also Ben was the lone contestant who opted out of the box trifecta. Good luck to all the players. Okay, Huber, there it is. The wagers have been made. Some strategies have been laid out on the table, and we are mere moments away from the big show. But before that happens, we have one last detail to mop up. Isn't that right, Mikey? That is correct. What it all hinges on, what it's all about. High sticks. Now, the rules are simple. The teams are carried over from part one of a proposed trilogy. The teams are the same. Mr. Casanova has Damiani, Brad, and Bloodworth, and I've got Jones, Ian, and Ben. We'll see how this shakes out, Don. We're sticking with our guys from last time. Their Don Bucks carried over to this special. The results of this special will carry over to the next one. And uh, depending on whose team, Huber or, so, or my own, wins this particular uh, betting special, the result of these high stakes will have to be paid by either Huber or myself. And these high stakes and the results will be revealed at the upcoming results show in the days following the Xbox Games Showcase. Isn't that right, Huber? You ready to you ready to get this party started? That is right. I am ready. I am inspired by the contestants' logic or lack thereof. They were betting with their minds, betting with their hearts. There's only one thing left to do. Watch and wait. It's go time, Huber. See you on the other side, Don.